How do you know if your job is right for you or if it's right for you for now? We're going to talk about shifting careers in this episode, the things you need to consider, the things that you need to talk about, and the hard questions you have to answer. Hi, I'm Laika Maravilla, and I'm an educational content creator and a former hiring manager. Some of the most common questions we get from Cosmo readers are adulting and work-related. Take this for example. Lately, I have been thinking about my career path and wondering what else is out there. What else can I do with my set of skills? Are there better opportunities in other fields? What are some things to consider before I make the shift? You know, I love this question because it really emphasizes the fact that careers are different from jobs. And having a career means having a long-term plan and uh, really evolving throughout the entire time. And uh, this is a really natural question to ask, especially these days if you feel burnt out or if you feel a little bit overstretched or tired in your position. And that's, again, perfectly fine. But one of the things we need to talk about, and we need to talk about this right now, is self-awareness. You mentioned uh, having a set of skills, right? It's not enough to just list down every skill that you have. You have to have a very realistic way when it comes to evaluating the skill that you have. How good are you when it comes to that? Like if you list down copywriting, yeah, you probably wrote a few articles for your uh, in-house magazine, but that doesn't mean that that work can translate to outside world. Now, another thing you have to consider would be being in a job and staying in a certain job can give you the freedom to build up your skill set and to improve your skills. Leaving a job isn't always the best answer for you and it isn't always the best answer for you for now. But if you really feel that's already doing damage to your mental health, if you're really having a hard time adjusting, if you feel that there's no hope when it comes to career progress, a promotion, or even a raise, then it really is time to think about a shift in your career. But again, shifting your careers is even more than just uh, finding another job in the same field. Shifting careers, like what you said, is more about like doing drastic change when it comes to what you're trying to do in your life. And in order for you to do that, I think you need to do a lot of research. Like, look through the realities of the situation. What are opportunities available to you right now in your current state and with the level of skill set that you have? Think about how many years it'll be for you to start at the bottom of that entire career path and start building up. Is it something that you can start right now? Do you have any contacts that could help you ease into this new position? Now, when it comes to, say, this is just a thought in my head because I'm feeling so drained and burned out, right? Now, one of the things we need to understand is that being burned out is different from just plain exhaustion. Okay, so exhaustion is more about like being overworked for maybe six days a week and a quick little breather, maybe taking some of your VL credits. Those are there for a reason, by the way. So you really have to use them, plan them out. If you take a breather, if you take a few days off, you may find that you will have more energy to attack the next work day with some gusto and passion but if that doesn't change and you're feeling burned out not just because you're tired and overworked but because you really see no hope or you see nothing when it comes to you putting in extra work but there's no recognition there's no progress it's like you're stuck then it may be time for you to start thinking about moving on but again one of the things I tell my students is this you have to make sure that you cover all your bases you have to make sure that you put yourself in a situation that you're going to be, I guess, more winnable when it comes to being in a different career. So it's all about doing what you can where you are in right now. Think about that. Break down whatever uh, things you have into smaller bits. See if you can do it right now in the position that you're in. And if it's impossible, start the savings account. Like Make sure you have your emergency fund stacked so that when you leave, you don't need to like grab every opportunity right away. It's a great thing to consider, especially if you're still young, because you still have a lot of mobility and you still are able to learn a lot of new skills. I'm not saying that older people can't, but it comes with its own risks as well. So just be mindful of those. And if you think it's worth it, go for it. Mm-hmm.